watching Cabo Bayan today. Cabo Bayan today used to be Cabo Bayan LA. We changed our name because we started syndicating in Hawaii on Kiku Network. And that is why the last seven years here on the show, we've been covering what's happening in the Southland. We're branching out to Hawaii and uh, we are getting regular updates from uh, our Cabo Bayans there, represented by Miss Rose Cherma of the Philcom Center. And of course, every Friday we see her. She joins us on the show via Skype. Miss Rose Cherma, hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan today. Musta Janelle, nice to be here today to review. Yes, happy Friday po to you, Miss Rose. You know, aside from our regular Friday segments here on the show, I also get regular newsletters from Philcom Center, and I'm just amazed at how uh, dynamic the community is. Napakarami mga events, exciting opportunities for our kababayans. Marami po kasi yung talent dito eh, lalo na yung aming banda kawayan, na, na, na kita niyo yung, yung aming pinadala sa inyo. Yes, mga yes. Events nila. Yes, we are looking at it right now on our screens. Banda Kawayan. What is that about, Miss Rose? This is a musical ensemble that um, they play on bamboo instruments only. So uh, we have the marimba, kalagong, the aklong. So all of the instruments are made of bamboo. And so we have trained some of the kids and uh, also their parents to play on that. Uh, they play a lot of a uh, whole repertoire of songs from Filipino songs to mainstream songs. We're listening uh, to it right now. We're watching it as well. How do you become a member? Po? Is it open to auditions? Maybe some of our Kababayans watching in Hawaii on Kiku. Uh, maybe they want to join. Uh, this is open to all. For those of you who live around here or even in Oahu, it would be easier. We have uh, our rehearsals on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, depends on the performances. But we do it after school. So right. um, during the weekdays. If there's a performance. It's nice that you're tapping the kids as well as the parents, but also it's important for the parents to pass on the baton ikanga at ipamana sa kanilang oh. mga anak yung uh, mga tradisyon nating mga Pilipino. And I think that is why you also have what you're calling Filipinos for Kids. What is that? Uh, it starts tomorrow. It's every summer, uh, six Saturdays in the summer, we invite kids to come here to learn about their culture. Kaya ang, ang mga bata, from 7 to 10, ang aming mga inaalagaan. Pero meron din po kami mga volunteers, which are teenagers, na they act as ate or kuya to the kids to pass on the culture. So every Saturday from 8 to 12, they come here. And then we have different events or activities for them. From right. uh, storytelling to dancing, ganon, iba iba. Do they also learn the Filipino language, or is it um, is it different culture? Because here we have uh, some sessions like that, teaching the kids to learn uh, the language. Uh, there's some segments or some uh, days when the, the language is taught in different uh, ways. For example, through storytelling, or sometimes through learning a song, and so it's incorporated in the activities. Oh, that's nice. And speaking of song, alam nyo naman po, mayaman na mayaman ang ating kultura sa mga uh, himig Tagalog na tinatawag nating mga kundiman. You have something about that as well, right? Yes, that's the title of the song, uh, title of the program, which is our Philcom Sunday. Kasi dito po, every last Sunday of the month, we have an event called Philcom Sundays where different groups perform. So July 28th, from 4 o'clock to uh, 8, we will have the young people perform their, uh, their poetry, uh, the per, their uh, performances, as well as painters. We are matching the painters with the poets. So as the poets recite their poems, what we are thinking is that the artists also do their own uh, art, you know, their visual art. So it was an unusual event, an unusual uh, evening, because it's now the, for the young people. It's what they are interested in. It's what we're going to show. Yeah, that's wonderful, Miss Rose. Kung di lang ako malayo, sasamahan ko po kayo dyan sa mga events yeah. nyo sa, sa Hawaii. Um, how, who's planning all this? Do we have different organizations that are planning, or is it mostly coming from Philcom? And kayo po, well, ang mga uh, tumutulong sa Philcom, is it purely voluntary? It is... Uh, Pretty much voluntary. We do have a program specialist. Her name is Marie Ramos, uh, who just graduated from UH Manoa, 
who is uh, spearheading this. And uh, what we want to do is to draw the young people over to Philcom. And it seems like what they really want to do is slum poetry. And mm. so we will uh, do slum poetry on themes that uh, deal with identity and about growing up here in Hawaii as a Filipino-American. So it should be an interesting event. But, you know, Janelle, we will try to videotape the, the poetry yes. yeah, so that we can share with your audience later on yes, after kat that. Yeah, katulad po ng Banda Kawaiian. Maybe uh, if there's still time on the show, we can end out with a Banda Kawaiian. For now, Ms. Rose, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Have a great weekend. Okay, thank you too, Janelle. And thank you guys for joining us today from travel to sports to skincare and beauty and to Hawaii. Thank you so much, Sana po. Marami kayong natutunan. We are on social media, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and it's a Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Um, and I will see you again on Monday. Enjoy this one, this performance from Banda Kawaiian from our Kababayans in Hawaii.